Hey, hey, everybody, you're watching Not Enough Growing TV with your girl, Dominique. How y'all been doing? How y'all been doing? I hope y'all been doing good. Hope y'all been doing great. Yeah, I've been gone for a minute, but that's okay. That's okay, because I'm back right now. You know, I know some of y'all might miss me, but I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to front. I have not had the, the greatest couple days, but we're going we gonna, we gonna to get it together. We're going to work on it. We're going to get it straight. But nevertheless, I am excited to be doing this video because y'all know I have a big mouth. I talk a lot. And I just wanted to kind of give my opinion and my thoughts on this mess of you know social media entertainment and um what's going on now so let me just jump right into what I want to talk about in this episode so I know y'all the ones that haven't been sleep you know even if you have been sleep I can refresh did y'all hear about I'm sure you have because I'm kind of late but I just What's up with the Boosie and Lori Harvey situation and his comments? <laughs> so basically, Boosie did an interview last week and he was giving his opinion on Lori Harvey and, you know, the Michael B. Jordan and them being a couple. Basically, in a nutshell, Boosie was like, I mean, son, like to me, she ain't goals. That's not goals. That's not wife material. Um, and I just don't think that look good because she out here with this man, this man, and that man. And so a lot of people was like coming for Boosie. Why? First of all, I love you, Boosie, okay? I have been a fan of Boosie for a long time, but why y'all coming for him? For speaking the truth, essentially, hey, hello, because it's just, we now, now we only stand speaking the truth because this is just things that we see. We don't really know homegirl and her business. We just see, you know, she has been with a lot of different men, and so he just recently did another interview trying to like clarify what exactly he was saying but basically he was asked again because he got so much backlash from the first interview and Mr. Boosty Badass said no mm -mm, I said what I said I'm saying it's cool if y'all want to deal with a woman like that I don't think she is goals or like wife material and if you know, you have men out here that like that. That means you must be okay with your daughter sleeping with, he say, a couple, he said, six, seven, eight, nine, ten <laughs> men, and that is fine with you. But, I mean, it's his opinion. And then, then let's just be honest. Like, if Lori Harvey was a regular old female, she would be called so many O's. Like, you know, she would be called all types of names because that's what y'all people do. That's just what people do, especially when you're in somebody else's business. But why is she not or why are people so mad at him for having that opinion he has about her? Is it because she's Lori Harvey? Is it because her stepfather is who he is? Is it because her mother is who she is? I mean... I mean, because it is what it is. We have seen her date, like, or be with multiple men. And this is what she has in the public eye. So, it's only... People are only going to assume what they want to assume. And it just looks like she just being passed around. You know, I'm not, I'm not even the messenger. I'm just saying, that's just what it looks like. Because, I mean, I have eyes. Everybody else have eyes. That's just what it looks like, okay? It just looked like it's a man here 
for two to three months and then it's another man here for three to four months and then now you have another man here and let's just I mean in my opinion y'all I don't even think her and Michael Jordan finna be Michael Jordan what Michael B. Jordan is finna be together for the long haul I just don't because now I can root for her and I can say I hope they do just kind of, you know, change the narrative of her patterns with these guys. But, you know, essentially, truthfully, no, it's not our business. That's homegirl business. But what I will say is, let me just throw this out here. Let me just throw this out here. What I will say from a woman's perspective, okay, it is very possible for a woman to date multiple men okay whether she dated them at the same time or whether she just had her run with some with a lot of guys that does not necessarily mean she's sleeping with all of these guys or that she has slept with all of these guys that just means she just like shoot she like fun she like attention she she likes getting nice things she like going out that don't mean that she really sleeping with all these men I mean, that's just a little tidbit from another woman to, you know, all of everybody, you know. It doesn't mean that she has, you know, a tendency of just being a jump around or a pass around, whatever you want to call it. It just means your girl just like having fun. So, but we have to go off of kind of what we are seeing, all right? And a lot of people like to make assumptions. But at the end of the day, that's Boosie and his opinion. So y'all get off my boy. Okay? <laughs> get off of him. That's his opinion. That's what's wrong with folks. Like, just like he got an opinion, everybody else has an opinion. You know, what can you do about somebody's opinion? Nothing. So I don't know why people are so upset. Because if she was not lori harvey and she was just a regular chick she would definitely be called a hoe she would be definitely looked at as somebody that sleeps with a whole bunch of men so why are people so mad anyway honey moving right along so i just wanted to kind of i don't even really want to get us a lot of energy because i'm like bro like who cares and the only reason you're relevant is because I'm talking about Mr. Um, Russell Block Spencer, a.k.a. Candy's baby daddy, um, a.k.a. Riley's father. <laughs> um, okay, whatever, a.k.a. producer. But why, why, sir? Like, he recently did an interview, I mean recently, and he was talking about the whole absentee father thing and him and Candy's situation. He basically just said that at the time he was dealing with Candy, Candy was a side chick. He already had his situation going on over there to the left, over there to the side. So when Candy found out she was pregnant, Candy is the one that disturbed his home and disrupted a lot of things and made it just nasty and ooky by telling the girlfriend that she was pregnant. So Mr. Block went on ahead and said, or he stated that Candy created a mess and that was up to her to clean that mess up. And let me add, he also did say, and when Candy made the decision to call his girlfriend at the time and tell her the nasty situation about her sleeping with him and her being pregnant now, the girlfriend was pretty much like F-U-B, and she still is that way. I do believe that that girlfriend is now his wife. Y'all, this irritates me. <laughs> it gets on my nerves. Because what you mean? This is something or it was a situation that Candy had to clean up herself. What do you mean? 
You chose now. Okay, let's just say the truth is that yeah. Okay, it, let's just say because I don't know. Allegedly, Candy knew about him having his own situationship with the female that he was with. And she still just um, immaturely decided to deal with him and then ultimately got pregnant by him. That's a shame on her. But now, sir, let me just tell you something. You created a whole human being with somebody else. You have another life that you created that you helped create. Your discretions is not Candy's problem. Her discretions are her problem, but not yours. You had a responsibility, sir, and now it is your, that's when it becomes your responsibility to clean up the things in your home. And shame on that girlfriend and that wife for saying, F her and F, I mean, anger, yes, out of anger. But me personally, first of all, if I'm with somebody and you go out there and you have a baby, with somebody else on me deuces bro I'm not even finna I'm not I'm not even finna deal with it I'm just not would I be angry heck yeah but am I gonna sit there and stay with you through all that hurt and then I resent that other mother and then I am actually watching your sorry self not take care of that other baby heck no because I'm just not that type of woman but it's women out here like that ugh I don't understand and I don't know why, but that's not your girlfriend's responsibility and that is not even Candy's responsibility to make anything right with your girlfriend. Dude, that's your girlfriend. (laughs) She don't have to clear up anything. Like, only thing she had to do was deal with the consequences and... uh, She's she has dealt with them all these years with her being a mother and a single parent to Riley, because with that mindset, sir, this is why you're absent. This is why you haven't done anything allegedly coming from Candy and what we see on TV. This is why you don't care to do anything young boy mentality like she don't have to clear up anything you have a responsibility and then what irked me is the talking about it like it was okay to say this is her mess and this is something she needed to get right or that she needs to get right see y'all hit my microphone and everything like what you mean sir like what do you mean what you mean (laughs) this is like you need to get it right Fix your home and then go over here and see how you can be a good parent and co-parent with the woman you had a child with. Mm, Like, people, we got to do better, okay? People, let's just, because it's, uh, (laughs) I be out of words sometimes because are we really saying that it is okay and it did, 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 my question is, like, as a woman, your girlfriend who is now your wife or your wife now feels that or has felt so many years that it's completely okay to have a g- grown man around her and have children out here that he's not taking care of? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think both of y'all need some help and some prayer, but... It ain't candy fault, honey. It's her. I mean, she did what she did and she dealt with the consequences. But you also had a responsibility. And I'm going to need nobody who listened to that interview that Block did and be like, or oh, think it's okay. Because nothing, nothing is ever okay about a man who out here doing what he want to do and then abandon his responsibilities when something happened or when he have a slip up. Because if you knew you weren't going to want to take care of no more children, then, like, why was you out here? Anyway, that's a whole nother question. I mean, that's a whole, that is a whole nother conversation to have. I just said these are two topics that I had to come in here and give my opinion on because... I just had to, but I wanted to say to all of my viewers out there, if y'all, I want to do something different. I want y'all to give me some questions, like a Q&A. I want to do a Q&A video, and I would like if y'all would give me some questions so I can answer them. I don't care what the questions may be. Just, just, just 
you know, drop them down below or drop them in my comment section or I'll leave my email, however you guys want to do it. But I want to just thank you guys for tuning in to another podcast with your girl Dominique. And I'll see you next time.